Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I uh, had an update in my pond, but um, today I uh, got a day off work. So what I'm gonna do is um, get my koi fish harvested for the winter uh, before temperatures really start dropping off here in the fall. So I'm gonna get them, uh, got a stock take form put in the uh, in the basement of my house and an aquarium and put some of the smaller ones in so that's what we're gonna be doing today I'll also gonna measure them to see how much they grow over the summer how much they've grown over the summer so we have a nice cool video for you Water right there. Go back. Take it inside. Alright, guys. I've got our first fish out to uh, measure. This is a Shiro Suri. This is my son Wyatt. He got the first one out. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick measurement of the Shiro Suri here. Go ahead, Wyatt.
go through that. The first four are smart and they want to go and they want to acclimate them. So now we got them in the water and we got the uh, two butterfly kajakas um, getting acclimated right now. And we primarily moved all the water from the pond into here. And I'm still giving them the you know, 10 minutes of acclimation just to make sure they're going to be all right. I don't want the wrist to lose them or something like that. But yeah, guys, this is a, this is where they're going to be living for the fall and the winter. And uh, some of them are smaller koi. Um, we'll get out here in just a few minutes. Out of the pond, they're going to go into the aquarium I have. 75 gallon aquarium just to split them up a little more. So, yeah, so far things are going pretty smooth. But these guys here, the water outside water is already getting quite cold. So that's why I went ahead today. Get them moved when I'm off work. All right, let's go get a few more fish. <laughs> So I find the button, the water go in, pond water. You know, we literally transported 90% of this water in here, so. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot warmer inside the house than it is outside already, so. Just this week alone, I cut their feed back because it was got cold at night, especially. Just five times a day to two, because that's all they were really tottering, was two feeds a day. The night take temperatures been down in the low 40s, and it just, you know, but being inside, it'll warm back up a little bit, and it's only gonna get colder, obviously, to get into winter, so that's the biggest point of bringing them inside. All right, so now, let's go to the aquarium. small koi in the pond acclimated and into my 75 gallon aquarium. This is where they're going to be stored at for the winter. As you can see, they're doing pretty big. They're doing pretty good. They look pretty darn big in here. But there they are. They're hanging out with the other one. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of the goldfish and that little black koi back there behind the showa because there's probably a few too many koi in here. And uh, I also added some uh, beneficial bacteria. Because anytime you're moving your fish from one location to another, uh, you might lose a little bit of your bacteria load. So, um, so we'll put a little bit of uh, beneficial bacteria in there, especially because you're adding fish. But, but yeah, they're uh, doing really good in here, it looks like. So, see how they get on with the rest of the day. And, Still got Luigi hanging out 
right there. I'm gonna keep that. I decided I'm gonna keep him. He's a, you know, and he's just, just interested to see how big he'll get. But, but yeah, we got all the fish moved uh, pretty successfully today. It's been good. Here's our official measurement. April 24th, we measured him and uh, that was when I first took the trailer into the spawn. And what's that about? Six months later, five months. That was today, September 25th, when we did the measurements. Um, as you can see, they all grow. Four inches, four inches, four inch, three inches, four. Let's go down the line here and uh, some of the smaller ones, like we just gotten, they didn't grow as much. Uh, you know, some of them grew five inches. But yeah, they, they all grew very well in a short period of time. And then these last two were the ones we got from Ohio Koi Farm. So today was the first measurement on those guys. Uh, uh, actually, there's three at the bottom are my uh, three that are the Japanese Koi. All the Japanese koi farm fish. So these guys ought to get real big um, in time. But yeah, that was all of our measurements from today. And yeah, everything worked out good. All right, guys, finished our final product. Put a net on here and that way I ain't gonna jump in it. I'll just keep this jumped out because I don't want to be in slide. So I'm gonna put a different uh, setup in a pond. So I might want to throw a net on here and wake up one morning and have some dead fish and jump out. So I'm also gonna add some of the uh, beneficial bacteria to the, to the pond here. Onto the stock tank. Sorry about that. <laughs> and that'll help uh, supplement whatever uh, bacteria uh, we had in the pond. And anytime you, like I said, you're gonna transfer fish, you want to add some bacteria, a decent amount of bacteria, so there's no issues with the ammonia. Because you are uh, taking them out. We used, we did, like I said, we did use most of the water. So, there they are. They're all ready to settle in and moving around, doing well. So, these guys are they're set up for the winter. Put my same filter in with the biological media and everything. So, but all right, we will catch you on the next video. Peace out.